Today, we mark a special milestone in the development of the Orange County Great Park, the completion of the comprehensive park design. It is the product of a successful public planning effort, boasting the participation of individuals and stakeholder groups that speak on behalf of the many diverse communities and interests throughout Orange County. Now, the vision for the first great metropolitan park of the 21st century, articulated by this board, is moving from planning to production. We are proud to deliver the comprehensive park design for the Orange County Great Park. The Great Park has a long and diverse history. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, the land was a vibrant agricultural space, acting as a breadbasket for the region and the country. In the 1940s, with the world at war, it began its second life as Marine Corps Air Station El Toro and provided critical support to Pacific theater operations for more than 50 years. During this time, a community grew around the air station. In 1971, it became the city of Irvine, a model for master plan communities everywhere. The foresight that established Irvine as the best master plan community in America would lay the foundation for the development of the greatest metropolitan park of the 21st century. Much like the visionary founders of the city of Irvine, the residents of Orange County had a bigger dream for El Toro when it closed in 1999. An intense public debate over its future use ended in 2002 when a majority of Orange County voters put aside plans for an international airport in favor of a great metropolitan park. The base was annexed by the city of Irvine and the process of planning the great park began with an intensive series of study groups and public surveys to determine the needs of Orange County. Months of work culminated in a stakeholders conference at which the public expressed their vision for an Orange County great park. All the input from today and the focus groups will be given to the designers. This indeed is an international design competition that is underway. With clarity provided by the community visioning process, the Great Park Corporation undertook an international design competition to find designers who would be able to take the public's vision and realize it as a plan for a great metropolitan space. Dozens of design firms from throughout the world applied. The Great Park Design Studio was among seven selected to develop plans based on the vision of the community. At the end of an intensive review process, the Great Park Design Studio, led by Ken Smith, was selected to realize the public's vision for a great park. It's one of those projects that if you're a landscape architect doing a great park that really can shape a community is one of the things that you train for your whole career. So I'm very excited. My team is very excited. Guided by the vision of the board, the design studio began to refine the conceptual design for the park into a working master plan. An open, collaborative interaction with the public was established that would be a hallmark of the design studio's approach to the design of the great park. Constant interaction with stakeholder groups and the public helped to realize a design for the park that provides critical ecological connections while at the same time meeting regional needs for recreation, cultural amenities, and open space. The plan that emerged is nothing less than a new kind of park, one where visitors experience a new kind of relationship between the built environment they live in and the natural world. As parks have long been, the Great Park is an oasis, a place of pleasure, activity, and reflection. But it is much more. It is a place that connects our history and our current needs, knitting together the communities of Southern California while restoring the region's natural heritage. It's a place where new ideas for social and environmental sustainability are investigated and tested. The citizens of Orange County are key participants in imagining these new ideas and bringing them back to their homes, communities, and workplaces creating a healthier and more sustainable future. In October 2006, the preliminary master plan was unveiled at an exciting interactive event at Irvine City Hall. More than 1,000 participants joined us on a blustery fall day to interact with the design team and evaluate the design. This was just one of many events that provided the public direct and uninhibited access to both the design and the designers and provided the studio with many valuable insights. Well, you know, it'd be uh, a kind of really sterile park if the public weren't involved because, you know, we, the, we can only come up with so many ideas for the park and, and we don't, you know, know what, you know, people really want in the park and we can sort of imagine or guess, but having people actually involved because in the end it's their park, 
and having uh, hearing from people and talking to people about how the park should work or what should be in the park is very important because that's what's going to make it a real uh, community park, a park of this place. As the design continued to progress, it became clear that public participation was critical, not just for the design process, but also for the eventual programming of the Great Park. With this in mind, in December 2007, an open house was held in one of El Toro's historic hangars to explore what kinds of programming the community imagined in the Great Park. Surveys completed by more than 1,000 participants provided information that has been used in the development of park programs through priority program feasibility studies that are currently underway. Ideas presented by the public have also been incorporated in the form of successful programs that have already drawn tens of thousands of visitors to the Great Park at the Great Park Summer Series of Events. The plan for the Orange County Great Park based on the design principles established by the City of Irvine, developed under the guidance of the Great Park Corporation, and reflecting the vision of the community, has received national attention and a number of prestigious awards. The jury, when we were looking at this entry, it won in the innovation and regional planning. Other projects that have won in this category in the past for APA had been real regional plans. What I thought the interesting thing about the park was it pulled together a region, or it helped create an identity for a region. That's where it sort of shined, that connection to larger ecological systems, recreational systems, and also transportation systems. The other thing that was impressive is how thoroughly well thought out it is in the details. So it's, a, it's to me, a very convincing design and a very a positive, uplifting, a, it would be a very positive attribute to Orange County. I think what attracted the jury were, first of all, the attention to the different ecologies that were proposed by the designers. That was, I think, of great interest to the group. Another thing, I think, was the disposition of the site planning in the Great Park in terms of its organization, which was able to link cultural elements with ecological elements. There was a general comment about this being an exemplary design that addressed you know, the reuse of a former polluted military site and turning it into a rich and environmentally sensitive set of habitat for um, a wide range of public uses. And then specifically, I think the two and a half mile long canyon was considered to be a wonderful set piece, a wonderful gesture, but also producing these incredibly rich habitats and then the efforts that the designers and the organizers had gone to to ensure sustainability happened at all levels on the site. And the linking of that to public education, the idea of it being didactic, i.e. explaining to the visitors to the park that not only when they were enjoying the park in, in all of its various parts, but also that they were learning about how the designers created particular places, particular habitats, particular forms, in order to achieve certain sustainable principles. And from that, the idea of this being then a model for other parks in other parts of California and all, and all the U.S. and globally. Now is a time for celebration. We have been humbled by the faith placed in us to realize this grand vision, overwhelmed by the energy and commitment of the public to this process, and gratified that we were able to express the incredible vision of Orange County in a manner that has raised the bar for 21st century planning and design. The process established by the City of Irvine and the Great Park Corporation has ensured that the voice of the public has been heard at every stage, from the decision to create a great public space, to the selection of the designers, to the development of the work product we are proud to deliver today. This comprehensive park design will allow the Orange County Great Park to move forward towards becoming the first great metropolitan park of the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen of the board, stakeholder partners, and members of the public, we are proud to present the comprehensive park design for your Orange County Great Park.